everybody, welcome back to River Finance Channel, and today I'll be telling you about independent work visa. You know what is independent work visa? Please, if you are into tech, you work online, you are a social media, you're a content creator, you have your earning salary, you know online you know social currency they call it now in europe please you can come to this european country yes everything is free you can come to this country okay number one why this independent visa have you heard about what they call digital nomad people that work remotely they are the people that are called digital nomad. And again, in this era of digital nomad that was propelled by COVID, you know, during the COVID, people went and they trained and do things to stay at home with their loved ones and all that. So it became a buzz. So now, without wasting your time, my name is Sonine and welcome to Women of Finance channel. Okay, now let's start. What is independent work visa? Independent work visa is a visa that this country, European country, will give you to come to their country and work as a digital nomad. I have told you what is a digital nomad. A digital nomad is somebody that works online, have a remote job. It can be a freelancer working in Upwork, a freelancer website, uh, people pay our website. You are earning money from them. Then you can apply for this visa. Secondly, you are a social media manager. You stay at home to manage people, um, social media uh, 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 um, platforms or companies' platforms. You can come to this country. Let me slow down. Let me get you to what might be your problem. Now, in this visa, <laughs> if you are given this visa and you get to this country, you will not seek a job. In a company yes that's the only disadvantage you will not say oh you are tired of doing remote work so you can go and seek job now nah. you have to be established to work online to make a living to help you sustain yourself if you ask me let me just tell you the truth I've been working online for so long now let me tell you the truth if you are in Nigeria if you are in Kenya, if you are in Ghana, if you are in um, if you are in South Africa, if you are in Malawi, Burundi, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Congo, Algeria, Angola, South Sudan, Sudan, Libya, Morocco, and you want to travel abroad and you are a content creator, you work online, maybe Facebook is paying you, maybe YouTube is paying you, maybe um, you uh, um, Instagram is paying you, maybe you are an influencer, earning your money, have a contract with companies that are paying you, or maybe you are, you are an online comedian or something, you know, like skit maker online, or maybe, or maybe you manage people's website, you manage people's social media platform, and again, maybe, you are a, a website designer, you are a software developer, you work online. Maybe again, oh, you are an infla freelancer, you work as a freelancer in Upwork, you can show your statistics to the um, Portugal uh, 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 Labor and the Border uh, Immigration Agency that, you know, they are called SEF. So maybe you are somebody that can teach online. Your work is to teach English to people in China, people in, um, because quite many people that speak English go to this country. If they teach online, they go to this country. They can even get clients that they can teach online. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe you are a data entry. Maybe you are a um, data scientist that work online. Whatever you are doing online and making money, making not less than 1,000 euros, pay a month you can come so what is this 1000 euro 1000 euros are today in naira is like um yeah 1000 euro is like 1 million is it 1 million it's like 900 or 1 million in dollars it's like uh 1130 or 150 uh, 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 um 
$1,150. If you make $1,150, because this is, okay, let me use dollars now, because dollars will give us world views, a universal currency, you, you know, you get. So this, um, if you earn $1,150, Fifty to two hundred a month. You know, if you end this one thousand hundred and fifty to hundred and twenty. Okay, God, what am I saying? Sorry. If you earn one thousand hundred and fifty dollars or one thousand two hundred dollars, you can apply for this visa. And the requirements are so easy. The requirement is to show the statistics that you're earning this money in three. Three months consecutively. Am I speaking the right English? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know whether I'm speaking the right English here. Consecutively, is it no? Is it no? Consecutively. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. If you're earning like you, okay, let me explain because I think I'm having amnesia. I'm so sorry. Maybe you're earning. If you earn like let me let me use January. If you in January you earn one thousand two hundred dollars in January, in February you earn one thousand two hundred dollars, in March you earn one thousand two hundred dollars minimum. You can earn one million dollars, but minimum, if you earn this money three months consecutively in April, put for this visa, nobody will deny you this visa. This is the only requirement that might be hard for people to get. Obviously, you have to have your international passport, the valid one. Then, number two, you have to have insurance that will cover you in Portugal. That's like traveling insurance that will cover you till you settle down to go into the system to register, to be able to get their own country insurance, traveling insurance, and all that will have to cover you. Okay, then, because... You have told them that you're earning this money. You have to go and print out your, however they are paying you. Maybe they are paying you through um, PayPal. Or maybe they are paying you direct to your accounts, your bank account. You have to print it out to show that you have earned this $1,200 consecutively to, you know, for them to see. That's a proof that you are doing this work. Secondly, you have to make sure that you have to get, maybe you are a data entry scientist, you have to bring the paper to prove that this is what you do, or you prove the, you know, if, because people that get it, um, China that got this visa, she's a freelancer online, she designed websites, she has done a lot of website designing like six years ago, you know somebody like that, you know, obviously somebody like that will be earning that kind of money, so six years ago she's been designing websites, managing things for big companies, so she was able to get this visa and again she's through going through the golden woods she's now done the six months she's been there for six months now so by a few uh, uh, months time she wants to go to the golden visa and invest in property to get the golden uh, visa rule because she's had made quite some money online okay now you will now uh, 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 get your a proof that you have money to pay for the first rent because obviously you're working for yourself and you are not allowed to work for another company the, in this independent visa they call it independent remember that word independent you'll be working for yourself any money yourself like sole proprietorship or entrepreneur you are any you are a freelancer any money to, you know by yourself so you you're not allowed to work for any other company that is what might be because many people might say i work for myself i want to make more money to work you know for another you know company so it is not allowed so in this independent visa it is not allowed okay let me shoot you you be staying and for nomad digital nomads you know that's the funky word they use for people that work a, a remote job that is funky world digital nomads all the digital nomads all these people social entrepreneur 
all the social media managers and everything all these like people that work online that work for themselves freelancers content creators copywriters writers and whatever you are working and earning money by yourself for yourself this is the visa for you and again in this visa after that one one year you have to apply for what they call <laughs> residence permits that is how fantastic this is so i don't want you to miss it and i don't want you to stay here and be saying trying to save 50 million or uh, twenty thousand uh pounds to travel abroad portuguese if you've not checked check the uh, uh video in this um uh, uh, video online this video i tagged here if you can see it so these people in this uh, visa this country after one year you can get your residence permit and portuguese visa you can get with portuguese with portuguese citizenship then you can get european passport european passport allows you to live anywhere in this world any at least country if you have that european passport you can live in america you can live in what are they calling it uk you can live in canada so why waste your money if you are talented that you work for yourself this is it and i have given it to you thank you so much and please you know the tradition please subscribe give us a thumb up like share in your platforms and i will see you in the next video Thank you so much for sticking with me till this time. I appreciate, I appreciate all of you. I don't know how to say it, but if you see my heart, I pray for all of you, all my sub subscribers. I love you and see you next time. Bye.